Hi there. Today we are going to talk about the exciting new Ferrari F80 supercar. Let's be honest, almost all of us have dreamed of owning a sports car. And when it comes to sports cars, nothing quite beats the allure of a sleek red Ferrari. To celebrate 80 incredible years of innovation, Ferrari has introduced the F80, an extraordinary high-tech performance car. This masterpiece is not only a symbol of Ferrari's legacy, but also their strongest car ever created. Let's take a closer look at what makes this supercar so special. Ferrari F80, the new supercar from the prancing horse. The start of a new technological era. In today's discussion, I'll cover four key features that define the Ferrari F80. Active suspension system, one plus cab configuration, 120 degree V6 engine with MGUK, MGUH, and an electric front axle. Active aero taken to the extreme, unparalleled design and performance. The Ferrari F80 has been meticulously designed to deliver the ultimate in performance without sacrificing driving comfort. With cutting-edge engineering and advanced technology, the F80 represents a seamless blend of power, precision, and luxury. Stay tuned as we explore each of these groundbreaking features and how they set a new benchmark in the world of supercars. Let's begin with the braking system. The CCMR Plus brake system, co-developed with Brembo, is a groundbreaking innovation for road-going vehicles. This is the first time it has been used in such an application. The CCMR Plus features longer carbon fibers, which enhance mechanical strength by 100% and improve thermal conductivity by 300% compared to previous solutions. Additionally, the braking surfaces are coated with a layer of silicon carbide, SIC, providing exceptional wear resistance and reducing bedding in times. Silicon carbide, SIC, is a compound made up of silicon and carbon. It has remarkable properties that make it useful in various high-performance applications. Here are some key features and uses. Key properties of silicon carbide. 1. High thermal conductivity. SIC can withstand high temperatures, making it ideal for use in heat exchangers, engine components, and electronics that operate in extreme environments. SIC is a very hard material, second only to diamond. This makes it useful for abrasives, cutting tools, and grinding wheels. SIC is known for its wide band gap, which allows it to perform well at high voltages, high temperatures, and in high frequency applications. It is often used in power electronics and semiconductor devices like diodes, transistors, and MOSFETs. It is resistant to oxidation and chemical corrosion, which makes it ideal for applications in harsh environments. While typically used as a semiconductor, SIC can also be modified to have certain conductive properties, making it useful in electronic devices. Silicon carbide has become increasingly important in sectors that require efficient energy conversion, high performance, and durability under extreme conditions. Its adoption is expected to grow, especially in the electric vehicle and renewable energy sectors. Let's now focus on the electric motor. The MGUK electric motor in the F80 is the first unit entirely developed, tested, and manufactured by Ferrari at their Maranello facility. The design of the motor is heavily influenced by Ferrari's racing experience, incorporating elements such as the tooth coil stator, Halbach array rotor configuration, and a carbon fiber magnet retention system, solutions directly inspired by Ferrari's Formula One design. The MGUK motor generator unit Kinetic is a key component in modern Formula One hybrid power units, responsible for recovering energy during braking and converting it into electrical energy. This energy is then stored in the car's battery and can be redeployed to provide additional power to the engine, helping with acceleration. The K in MGUK stands for kinetic, highlighting its primary role in energy recovery during braking. The MGUK is part of a broader system that includes an internal combustion engine, a turbocharger with the MGUH, another motor generator unit for recovering energy from exhaust gases, and a battery pack. The MGUK works in conjunction with the rest of the system to optimize energy efficiency, enhance power output, and improve overall performance while reducing fuel consumption. Here's a breakdown of its functionality. Energy recovery. The MGUK recovers kinetic energy during braking, converting it into electrical energy. Energy deployment. It can then deploy the recovered energy to the drivetrain to assist with acceleration, providing a boost of power when needed. Power output. 
the MG UK typically delivers up to 120 kilowatts, about 160 horsepower in modern F1 engines, though this can vary slightly depending on the specific regulations in place. The energy recovery and deployment systems, including the MG UK, are crucial to the performance of modern F1 cars, as they not only help improve lap times, but also contribute to sustainability by reducing fuel usage. Let's discuss the aerodynamics. The F80's carbon fiber front bonnet incorporates an S-duct, a fixed element that links the two front wings. Within this feature, two flaps follow the main profile, completing the triplane wing configuration. The design, including its curvatures and blower slots, is clearly inspired by the 499P. The Ferrari 499P is a hybrid hypercar created for the FIA World Endurance Championship, WEC. It was introduced in 2022 and made its racing debut in 2023, marking Ferrari's return to top-level endurance racing, including the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The S-Duct is a type of aerodynamic design commonly used in high-performance vehicles, particularly in motorsports like Formula One. It is a sophisticated airflow management feature that directs air to different parts of the vehicle with the aim of improving aerodynamic efficiency and overall vehicle performance. Basic Design An S-duct is typically a duct that runs along the body of the vehicle, shaped in a way that the flow path resembles the letter S. This shape allows air to be channeled in a specific direction, often with the goal of 1. Reducing drag. By carefully controlling the airflow through the duct, drag forces can be minimized. 2. Managing airflow to critical components. The S-duct can direct airflow toward components such as the rear diffuser, brake ducts, or other aerodynamic surfaces that require cooling or need to optimize their own aerodynamics. 3. Enhancing rear downforce. In some designs, the S-duct is used to influence the airflow over the rear of the car, helping to improve downforce in a controlled manner. Operation. In its typical configuration, an S-duct functions by channeling air from the front of the vehicle, often from the upper surface, to a desired exit point at the rear or under the vehicle. The S-shape serves to change the direction and velocity of the airflow in a controlled way, creating specific aerodynamic effects that benefit the car's handling, stability, and speed. Cooling and brake ducting. In some designs, the air entering through the S-duct is routed to cool critical components like brakes. Flow management. The air can also be directed to smooth the flow around the front tires or to energize the flow around the rear wing or other aerodynamic surfaces. The S-duct can have several aerodynamic advantages, including increased downforce. By using the S-duct to manage airflow in specific ways, teams can create more downforce without adding extra drag improved stability. The S-duct can help manage turbulent air that might otherwise disturb other aerodynamic surfaces, improving the car's overall stability at high speeds. Better integration of aerodynamics. The S-duct allows for a more integrated and efficient aerodynamic package by managing airflow from one part of the car to another in a seamless manner. Challenges. Designing an effective S-duct is complex, requiring precision to ensure that the airflow behaves as intended at different speeds and under different conditions. Teams must carefully analyze airflow dynamics and balance competing aerodynamic goals, like reducing drag while increasing downforce. Additionally, the physical space in a vehicle is limited, so designing and integrating the S-duct without interfering with other components can be a challenge. The S-duct was famously used by Formula One teams starting in the 2010s, where it was seen as a key innovation for maximizing aerodynamic performance. For example, McLaren's MP4 25 2010 and Mercedes W11 2020 featured notable S-duct designs that provided aerodynamic advantages in specific situations. Let's talk about the performance. With 1,200 horsepower, this is the most powerful road-going Ferrari ever created. 1,050 kilograms of downforce push the car firmly onto the ground. Powertrain, the F80's 3.0-liter 120-degree V6 engine, delivers a peak power of 900 horsepower, resulting in a specific power of 300 horsepower per liter. The hybrid system's electric front axle, E4WD, and motor contribute an additional 300 horsepower. The connection to motorsports is evident. The engine's architecture and many of its components are based on the power plant of the 499P, 
which triumphed in the 2023 and 2024 editions of the 24 Hours of Le Mans. In cars, horsepower per liter is a measure of the engine's power output relative to its displacement. It indicates how much power and horsepower the engine produces for each liter of its total displacement, the total volume of all the cylinders combined. Significance, higher horsepower per liter, it means the engine is producing more power per unit of displacement, which typically indicates a more efficient, high-performance engine. It is often used in performance and racing cars, where maximizing power output is crucial. It's important to note that this metric doesn't account for other factors like turbocharging or supercharging, which can boost horsepower without increasing engine displacement. The transfer of technology from racing also incorporates elements from Formula One, including the MGUK and MGUH systems, which have been adapted with a custom e-turbo application. Additionally, the decision was made to tilt the engine transmission unit downward by 1.3 degrees along the z-axis. This adjustment lowers the center of gravity without affecting the effectiveness of the aerodynamic underfloor design, a change that was made possible by the new smaller diameter flywheel. The center of gravity, COG, in supercars plays a crucial role in their handling, stability, and performance. It refers to the point where the car's mass is considered to be concentrated, and it affects how the car behaves during acceleration, braking, and cornering. Here's why the COG is especially important in supercars. 